Hi everyone. So now we will learn how we can display the errors in PHP program. And first of all, I let you know what issue I'm talking about. Then we have to find the location of php.ini file. And there is a property we call display errors. We have to make it on. After that, we are able to get the proper errors in the PHP program's output. All right. So let me show you what issue I'm talking about. So whenever you are installing PHP with the help of XAMPP and you just make some mistakes in program and you are trying to run this program over the browser that time you will not get the error by default so you will just get this kind of page like this page is not working localhost is uh, currently unable to handle this request at http error 500 but this is uh, actually default error this is not the exact error uh, that actually causing the issue right then how we can fix it let me show you what issue actually uh, why this issue we are getting so i just uh, remove the semicolon from the line number 21 so if i'm just putting their semicolon again then you will find this program is working fine right so the error should be just related to this semicolon not to this uh, default error so how we can get the actual error we are talking about this so for that firstly we need to find the location of php.ini file now you may can ask that uh, why we have to find the location so cannot we directly go to that location and uh, directly just change this uh, property no actually because file of this location is actually depend on the operating system as well as XAMPP version also all right so that's why we have to find out the location of this file and how we can find out just let's create one more program for that and the program name you can put anything i'm putting there display error.php and there just create a php tag and simply just make echo php info and this is basically a function and you can run this program and uh, in this tutorial still we have to cover uh, what are the functions how we can make them and how we can run them and all so if you don't understand what is this thing don't worry we are just checking their uh, specific file location so you don't need to worry about what are what are the function and all all right and whenever we will run this function i'm just running this uh, function there just go down bit bit go down and you will find a loaded configuration file so you have to go to this file and there you need to change a property all right so how we can do that simply go to the terminal or if you are using because i am using the mac operating system and if you are using the windows operating system you can directly go to that uh, folder and change that property in this file so what i'm going to do there i'm just going to the applications then sam after that uh, zam files and then extra etc and there you will find this okay just uh, okay i just forget to put their cd let me put their cd and there you can find a file php.ini according to this location and this, just simply put their code and this file name if uh, you already installed the vs code then this command will open this php.ini file in the vs code right and just hit enter after that you can see this file in the uh, vs code and just simply find their display underscore error right go to that property and just make it on simply after that save this file you can close this file you don't need it anymore and uh, after that just simply go to the your xamp server back again and just restart the apache service or you can restart the all of these service if you want all right so these services are restarted now let's go to the browser back and uh, you can just try to run this variable.php file and now you can see that we got a error number on line number 22 and they're expecting semicolon or comma right because error was we just miss this semicolon on line number 21 and this echo uh, keyword you can say that or literal you can say that is demanding a comma or at least a semicolon all right so now we are getting the proper as you can see that so now just uh, you can fix it 
uh, by the reference of line number and uh, this comma or semicolon and it should work fine right so this is the way that how we can display the default error in our php uh, whenever we are installing your php with the help of xamp so thank you so much for watching this video and please like this video subscribe my channel and you can share your feedback in comment section this is my paytm donation number thank you guys